You know you shouldn't be here. I made varsity. Sweetie. That's so great. It's gonna help with my college apps. Good job. Mm -hmm. Go back to sleep, okay? Doctor, surgery went well? No hiccups, but could you call the post-op nurse at Cedars? Mm -hmm. Thanks. See how Miss Franklin is recovering? Yes, doctor. Oh, and I put your 115 in your office. She's a new patient. Who is it? Elizabeth Oakley. Referral from Dr. Mary Wilson. Great. Thanks. Miss Oakley, I'm Dr. Jones. I hope you don't mind, but I have a meeting with the district attorney and I need to look my best. Of course. Maison number seven. Very nice. Oh, you have quite the talent. Have you ever tried fusion dreams? It's to die for. Go ahead. Hmm, that's good. Very nice. So before we get started, you're a patient of Dr. Wilson. Hmm. Mary and I go way back. Great, what can I do for you today? Isn't it obvious? May I? Mm. <sighs> you know, I could probably shift your brow up just a centimeter, and I think you'll like how that impacts your eyes. And my ears. Mm. An ear pin would be superfluous, really. Okay. Well, I trust you. When was your last surgery? 14 months ago, but I was hoping that you would notice. Well, the rhinoplasty and cheek implants are barely noticeable, but... You know, we have made some advancements in the past year. I could probably do a little adjustment to conceal this if you want. Please. So why the change in doctor? Well, I relocated from San Francisco because I felt like I needed a fresh start. Oh, well, I am sure that you'll find Seattle very welcoming. I'm sorry, is there something wrong? You really don't...
I'm sorry, I don't. Georgetown General. You keep this up, you'll never make the grade. How's my star pupil? Elizabeth? <laughs> You look so an improvement, I know. Can I just ask, you must have had a mastopexy and then a little body contouring and augmentation. Well, you look beautiful. I'm so sorry I didn't recognize you. Oh, on the contrary, if you recognize that little mouse, then I would have wasted a hundred grand worth of surgery. Oh, don't say that. Well, I know what I was before and I know what I am now. Look, you and I could be sisters. Of course, I've had to spend a lot of money to get here. Not everybody's as genetically blessed as you are. Oh, please. Have you ever thought of getting some work done? You know what? I am just happy helping others. Well, it's never too late for a mommy makeover. Um, so your your last name, Oakley. Oh, Elizabeth Karzinski had absolutely no ring to it, and plus medicine wasn't really my thing. So I moved into law, class action much more lucrative well you always were smart to make in are you sure you want to go through these new procedures don't sell yourself short katie I'm sure you'll do wonderful work in fact i'm certain of it perfect everybody Aiden's upstairs I told him no TV until you had the periodic table down oh our smart little man where's Jess <sighs> she asked if she could hang out with some friends after breakfast and you said that was okay yeah I figured it was fine Chris this is our only time to spend together on surgery days you remember how that was <sighs> sorry I didn't mean to go there I just love our little family and I want every minute of it I can get. You doing okay? Good. Yeah, Jimmy called again about that farmer job. He says they want to hire me. Pays high six figures, even more of the bonus. We don't need the money. Why don't you just take this time to focus on your rehab? I mean, it's only been six months since the seizure. Honestly, I don't want you anywhere near work stress. No more 80-hour work weeks for you, okay? Remember what the doctor said? Yeah, I know. It would just make me feel good to contribute to the family again. Chris, you do. As a husband, a father, as a friend. But not as a surgeon. I didn't say that. Okay, you know what? Let's talk about something else. How was your day? Well, it was good. Surgery was uneventful. I did have a strange experience this afternoon. Oh, yeah? I had a consultation with this woman who used to be in your intern program, Elizabeth Karazinski. I barely remembered her either. I think she dropped out after a few months. Yeah, you know, my attention was very focused back then. It was like laser sharp. You see, there was this one really beautiful girl in the class <laughs> yeah she sounds like a real hussy mm, a little bit <laughs> anyway this elizabeth oh no bad facelift no actually the opposite she looks amazing she has had so much quality work done if she wasn't a referral i wouldn't even take her on as a patient well if anybody can do those last little tweaks it's you the thing is it wasn't just her appearance that's changed it was her whole Attitude. I can't explain it. The girl that I used to know was like this shy, bookworm, homely. <laughs> and this woman, when I walked into my office, she was confident, sexy, and powerful. Uh oh, you know? should I be like worried? Oh, stop it. She just surprised me, you know? People don't usually change that much. Look at that. No shake. Babe, see? You got nothing to worry about. Getting better every day.
Okay, Liz, I want you to count down backwards from 10, all right? And when you wake up, it will all be over. You're going to look perfect. You ready? 10, 9, How is the swelling? Nominal, but it looks great. You were worth every penny. Well, you're healing very nicely. I think you should come back in six weeks for a checkup. Otherwise, I think we're all set. You know, you have made some adjustments, just like right here, and then added a few more CCs here while I'm under. Liz, I, I think you look excellent. I really can't recommend any of that. Don't be so selfish. Even with kids, yours are so firm. Look, I'll show you what I mean. That's really, that's not necessary. <laughs> don't be so. You're my doctor. I'd rather you not. You know, I'd prefer if you don't. Seriously, Liz, once I show you, you'll understand Liz, what I'm Liz, talking. stop, stop, stop. Okay? Miss Oakley, I don't feel comfortable performing any further surgery on you. We're done. Mary, it's Katie. Could you call me back? Uh, it's about that patient referral you sent last month on Liz Oakley. Just, just call me back, okay? Thanks. Jones family. Hey, Bruce. What? Oh, my God. Uh, we're so sorry. Is, is there anything that we can do? Yeah. Bruce, we're, we're praying for you. Stroke. Oh my God. Look, one of us should go down there. You know we're better. Yeah, I'll, I'll go. Of course. something it's all gonna go bad if we don't start to eat it bruce i'm so sorry about you it's the girls i'm worried about i still haven't figured out how to explain everything it was just so sudden one day their, their mother's fine and then the next We do. You know, we... 
We had breakfast that morning. Mary never said anything about feeling bad. They say doctors make the worst patients. You know, sometimes there's just no good explanation. No, uh, I don't know what did it. Mary had this malpractice suit. Yeah. They said that I'm not supposed to say your name, but... My Mary's dead. This, this woman, uh, Liz Oakley, starts out with a simple procedure. No big deal, right? But it's not enough. She pushes Mary to do more. But then, this bitch sues Mary. Says it's not what she wanted. And flies and all these these experts. Oof. Insurance wants to settle. And Mary refuses. You know, the whole, whole thing just... It just... It just ate at her until... <sighs> so Mary would never refer Liz to another doctor. Are you kidding? This woman is toxic. My Mary never would have pawned her off on another surgeon. No way. No damn way. Now, Johnson was the first school in the Washington University system to offer an advanced surgical study program. So all you pre-med students, you're going to be spending a lot of time right here in Kaplan Hall. Forget that. I'm not staying in school till I'm 30 like Mom and Dad. Although... There are some perks. <laughs> now, the next item on our hit list is the famed Vincent Library, where the ghost of Alexander Vincent still runs the halls, waiting for someone to read his... All right, moving on. Jess Jones! Oh, I barely recognized you. You've grown up so much. Do I know you? Oh, well, you wouldn't even recognize me. The last time I saw you, you were this big. You can call me Aunt Liz. I'm an old friend of your mom's. Come here. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Do you teach here or something? Teach? Never. I was just lecturing for the dean of the law school. I mean, I go way back. Just let me look at you. You have turned into a beautiful young woman. Wow, it's incredible the change from when you were a child. Yeah, kids do that. You know, I always wanted a child of my own. One with beautiful long hair. Big hazel eyes, just like my own. <laughs> well, I better get back to the group. I'll let Mono know I saw you. Yeah, please do. Dr. Jones, I thought you weren't back till tomorrow. Yeah, I got an early flight home. I need the patient file for Liz Oakley. Of course. Okay, bring it to my office. I need it right away. Here's that file. How did you receive this referral? It was faxed in, I think. What's wrong? I've known Mary for 20 years, and that is not her signature. I should have called the clinic. I'm sorry, I never thought... No, it's not your fault. I should have looked at it personally before seeing her. What do we do? Nothing yet. I have to figure out who we're dealing with first. Hello, beautiful. Dr. Robin Pratt at your service. Liz Oakley. A delight. 
Now tell me, darling, what are we looking for today? Well, I did have some ideas, but I do want your opinion. Well, you're just marvelous, aren't you? An angel dropped from heaven. Just like my other lady here. Well, remember the times, dear. In her day, she was the epitome of beauty. Thankfully, times have changed. <laughs> yes, they have. And I assure you, we are ready to deliver on the latest trends. And, well, I'm thinking we could do a little contour on the hips. Mm -hmm. And some shaping around the lips. Of course. And a small breast augmentation. Yeah, and I would like to do some face work as well. Something along the jawline here, but I want it to have a natural beauty about it. Something like, use that as my model. Is there something wrong? This will take a couple of surgeries to achieve. But it's not a problem, darling. You are in good hands with Robin Pratt. <laughs> Mom's home! Hi. How's it going? I see you guys got takeout. Dad's favorite Chinese place. Aww. You're home early? Yeah. Hey, Jess, why don't you put on a movie for you and Aiden? Mom and I can clean up. Sure. Come on, Aiden. By the way, I ran into an old friend of yours at the college tour today. Yeah, she's real weird, by the way. What did she say? That I looked grown up. She called me beautiful, actually. What is it, huh? You better sit down. Ominous. You remember that new patient I was telling you about? What, the, uh, the big transformation, Elizabeth something? She sued Mary for malpractice last year, and then she forged a referral so I would take her on as a patient. And then last week at her checkup, she got very upset that I wouldn't do more work on her. And then she just happened to run into Jess. <sighs> what, you think this is some kind of malpractice scam? I don't know. It feels more personal than that. Going after Jess, I mean, that is that is way too far. I know. Okay, you know, you know what we should do? We should we should call Gwen. She she knew everybody in that class. I mean, Elizabeth's done her homework on us. It's time that we do the same. Here. No, hang on. I can. I can get it. Just. As lovely as ever. Aw, Gwen, thank you. So oh no, he's he's busy with rehab. How are you two coping? We're good. Well, you know, we're okay. <laughs> Strokes are tricky. People recover at different speeds. Do you remember Elizabeth Karazinski? You mean Miss Oakley? So you've seen her recently? Unfortunately, she came in looking to get some work done. I wouldn't touch that with the forty-foot pole. I take it she came to you? Yeah, she did. She did, with a forged referral. <laughs> Liz certainly runs hot enough to pull something like that. I remember that from school. Can you tell me anything about her? Like, honestly, I barely knew she existed in school. She was so quiet, and then suddenly she was gone. She dropped out. Elizabeth didn't just drop out. She was escorted. What do you mean? And Chris was a savage teacher. He had no room for error. Yeah, no, he was tough. Elizabeth just couldn't deal with that kind of criticism, being held to that level of perfection. Eventually, she cracked. We were in a lab, and she just fell apart, started screaming and crying. She ended up getting carried out by security. How did I not hear about this? The hospital kept it quiet, even from Chris. So have you, have you like, kept up with it? I do know she became obsessed with her looks. Hence the plastic surgeries. It hasn't been a smooth transition. She had some complications after one procedure. Ended up losing her ovaries. I read about that. Nasty business. She sued that doctor out of existence. So, do you think she's coming after me to get back at Chris, like revenge? What? I don't think she wants revenge on Chris. Who then? You, Katie. What? Back in school, Liz wanted to impress Chris, but 
It was you she was obsessed with. Why me? <laughs> she was jealous. In a way, we all were. You were the star pupil, engaged to the genius doctor. You had it all. The looks, the brains, the charm. You were perfect. Elizabeth idolized you. She would have killed to be more like you, and you barely knew she existed. I had no idea. My professional opinion, this Oakley is reinventing herself. And anyone from that old life, anyone she thinks spurned her back when she was Elizabeth Karazinski, she found as far away from Liz as you possibly can. She'll never look back. Yes. You know who I am. A sad widower. I told the insurance company they can go to hell. It doesn't matter that Mary's gone. We're not gonna settle. And I know you're dirty. Mary knew it too. And that's why I'm gonna dig up every nasty thing you've ever done. I just wanted to see the look on your face when I told you. Um, excuse me. I'm not finished talking with you yet. <laughs> what is this supposed to... I'd love to stay and discuss this more, but I have a date. Look, I know being a rep isn't the sexiest job, but damn, Chris, there's so much money in it. Yeah, I know, but it's not just about the money. I get it, bud. You were a rock star with a knife in your hand. And guess what? You will be again. But until then, join the Pharma Fam. It's the wife. Yeah. Buy your wife some new sparkles. You know, prove to her she's not the only one who can bring home the bread, you know? <sighs> well, it's possible she... This is the perfect time to start bringing home some extra cheddar. You know, spread your wings a little. Fly to some new ponds. Huh? What are you inferring, man? Just can't help but notice the vixen in the corner. She's been staring at you ever since you sat down. Yeah, there she is. Hello. Yeah, I'm happily married, Jim. Oh, hey, me too. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, you know, when you're on the road so much, dogs gotta eat. <laughs> mm. Oh, I gotta take a leak. In the meantime, hey, where's some shots, eh? Yeah. <clears throat> Check, please. Leaving already? Um, I, I am, actually. Meeting didn't go so well? I'm not even sure why I came. Well, clearly, your friend is a Neanderthal. But you, you seem much more refined. Thank you. Is that right? Yeah. You must be an architect or a surgeon. Why do you say that? You have an artist's hand. Do I know you? Not yet. Oh, <laughs> sorry if I give you the wrong idea. Right, well, then you know what it means. Best of luck. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. You practically ignored me when I was a student of yours. But now that I have something to offer, I thought 
Maybe I could get your attention. Elizabeth. Oh, I go by Liz now. But I think you'll find me a much more intriguing student now. Mm. Is this how Katie does? Okay, you come here, my wife. Oh, my kid again. I'll... You know what? Oh, what's wrong, doctor? Are you having a hard time bullying me now that I'm not a weak and pathetic student? Or is it you, doctor? Have you lost your edge? Get away from this. Oh. Chris, where are you going, man? It sounds like Miss Oakley knows how to walk right up to the line without crossing it. A restraining order could be difficult. Well, I'll do whatever it takes. I don't want this woman near my family. Chris. Okay, I, uh... Chris, this is our lawyer. Can I borrow you for a minute? Like, right now? I'm so sorry. I'll be right back. you weren't going to take that job. Yeah, I know, I know. Are you drinking? I smell alcohol all over you. What? I, Jimmy spilled a drink on me. Would you just listen to me, please? Yeah, go ahead. Liz was there at the bar. Oh, my God. Uh, she, she came up to me. She, um... She what? She, she, she was flirting with me, all right? I, I, I didn't recognize her at first. I spoke to Gwen. Liz wants to hurt me in any way she can. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely got that impression. So let's just go back out there. Let's tell the lawyer everything. And in a few weeks, Liz won't be able to come within 100 yards of our family. Deal. All I would need is a statement from you, and it would make a world of difference in getting this restraining order. Yes, I know that I know that she's had a lot of success in suing doctors, but you haven't even operated on her. So she would have no grounds to Okay. Yep. Thanks for your time. <sighs> yeah, uh, Wendy, you can go on home now. I'm good. Gonna... Oh, she already left. Are you having troubles trying to find someone willing to speak against me? I'll manage. You know, it could have been much different, Katie. We could have been friends. Friends don't threaten each other's children and hit on their husbands. <laughs> well, I think that was actually fun, and I was testing him for you. You know, I offered him a taste of something really special. But of course, he stayed true to you, his muse. I'm calling the police. And you know, Chris did seem a little different, though. It's not as rough as he used to be. Not macho in that doctor type of way. He's a little off now, isn't he? Kind of like a lame horse who needs to be led around. Was it the stroke? Or was it you, Katie? Did you break him? I'd love to know your secret. Get out! Heard about Mary? She tried to cross me. She tried to limit me. Did you do something to Mary? Katie? That was just karma. Stay away from my family. Katie, you're supposed to be the good girl, remember? What are you going to do? Try me. You'll find out. Liz came to the office today. What happened? I don't think Mary's stroke was an accident. I think Liz killed her. Oh, my God. She really hates me, Chris. Look, maybe we can just pay her off or something. No. No, it's deeper than that. 
If she can get them married, then she can get to us. We're the kids. Hey, that is not gonna happen. Welcome back, darling. A little water? Now, Liz, I think it's important we discuss how, um, how these procedures can sometimes have varying degrees of success. The final outcome is always a little different from... Mir. Darling, let's discuss this for a minute. Mir, now. There's a tiny complication with the job. That's the scar. It will barely be noticeable, I promise. Get out. Darling, trust me with how you- Get out! No, wrong. No, wrong again. These charts are completely unsatisfactory. You keep this up, you won't make the grade. How's my star pupil? Hey, you guys hungry? Yes. Mom, you're still here? Yeah, I had a last minute cancellation this morning. Isn't that nice? We can have breakfast together as a family. Hey, Wendy. Thanks for the text this morning. I got to sleep in till 6 a.m. Really living it up. <laughs> you might actually be able to stay home all day. Both your afternoon appointments canceled, too. Really? Can we skip school, too? Uh, no chance, little man. <laughs> Did they reschedule? I tried, but they didn't want to. They say why? I asked, but they wouldn't give me an explanation. Hmm. Okay, uh, well, thanks, Wendy. I'll talk to you later. This is weird. You don't think this is connected to our other problem, do you? She hasn't tried to contact us since the restraining order. Well, could she be going after your patients? I just need to go to the office and, and make sure everything's okay. All right, I'll, uh, I'll go to the kids' school. I want to talk to the administrators just in case she shows up there. Good idea. I thought you didn't have work today. Oh, um, I've got just a few things to take care of. How about I pick you guys up from school later? Yeah. OK, good. I'll see you all then. She seemed distressed, I guess. She wasn't wearing a top, I remember that. She might have been crying. Dr. Jones, what's going on here? My name is Carlos Lopez. I'm an investigator with the Washington State Medical Board. He said I had to talk to her. It's OK, Wendy. You can go. The State Medical Board investigates all claims made against licensed medical practitioners. Of what they do. My focus is on claims of sexual harassment. There's been an accusation of gross misconduct on your part. That is ridiculous. Not according to your accuser, whom your office manager last remembered exiting your office without a shirt on. She described the patient as being in great distress. This patient is Liz Oakley. And if you care to do your homework, you would see that she has been harassing my family and then you I You filed a restraining order. This doctor. And I'm not speaking without my lawyer present. When you're ready to make an efficient statement. I'm sorry, doctor. I didn't know what to say. That's all right. You told the truth. You can go home now, Wendy. I think there's something you're going to want to see. The investigator told me about it. This was posted three days ago. My name is Liz Oakley, and I am a victim of sexual and professional harassment. 
I am a mature, competent, well-educated woman, respected in my profession. But none of that seemed to matter to my doctor, Katie Jones. She saw me, and she saw someone she could take advantage of. During a regularly scheduled checkup, she, um, she took advantage of me, her patients. I trusted her, she was my doctor, and she took an oath to do no harm. But I am not a victim. So that Katie Jones does not hurt anyone else in the same way that she hurt me. Thank you, and God bless. No, 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 no. This is a lie. This is obviously a lie. She can't do this. An investigator from the state medical board came to the office. What? You have 10 years of unquestioned professionalism. She's got nothing. It's, it's her word against mine, and right now, her word is a lot louder. Come on, nobody's gonna believe this crap. We've had a dozen patients cancel since this morning. Really? Well, we'll sue her. We will sue her right into the ground. She's the lawyer. That's her game. No, she can't get away with this. I should tell Jess. You know what, I, I'm gonna call that lawyer again. If she wants a fight, we'll give her one. So that Katie Jones does not hurt anyone else in the same way that she hurt me. Thank you. God bless. How can she say those things? You know, people are going to see this. Your friends. Their family. I'll tell them it's lies. I'll tell them it's not true. Jess, sometimes when people see something like this, they don't always know who to believe. That's it's not fair. And it's going to be really hard, but I do not want you to get engaged. I do not want you out there fighting for me. But mom, I just... Please, I don't want you to hold any further into this than you already are. Okay, and I'm not going to tell Aiden unless I absolutely have to, okay? People will believe you, though, right? I'll make sure of it. My name is Liz Oakley, and I am a victim of sexual and professional harassment. I am a mature, confident, well-educated woman, respected in my profession. But none of that mattered to my doctor, Katie Jones. She saw me, and she saw someone she could take advantage of. During a routine check... As I live and breathe, Dr. Katie Jones. It's good to see you, Robin. Is it? The last time we saw each other, you were voting me out of the American Plastics Association. How the mighty have fallen. I need to know if you operated on Liz Oakley. No. You know, as a doctor, I can never answer that. Robin, I really need to know if you worked on her. Me? She was your patient, right? At least, that's what I saw online. You know, those things aren't true. So then tell me, why do you think Liz would come here to seek my humble services when she had access to the great Katie Jones? After Liz asked for some procedures that I didn't think were necessary, I refused to do any further work on her. But I know that not every surgeon can afford to be as selective about operating on clients with excessive requests. I eat you're better than me. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. And you know you're right. I can't afford a name for myself. After all, this is the Emerald City. People here want to be the Mona Lisa of our day. They want access. They want the next big thing. Slim waists, Brazilian butt lifts, double Ds. So you can look down your nose all you want, but my patients need me because people like you won't help them. 
Listen, I know we've had our differences. And I wouldn't ask you this if it wasn't really important. But Robin, my family is in danger. I need your help. If I operated on Liz, and if something went wrong, then you know I would be in her crosshairs right next to you. In that case, if there's anything that you could share that would help me, maybe it could help you too. I like you. I'm used to crazy patients and lawsuits, and I'm smart enough to cover my own ass. So, I don't need any help from on high. That said, I'm gonna help you anyway, because I'm not the unprincipled jester you think I am. I recently had a patient who will remain nameless. She gave me surgeries we had planned out. <sighs> this nameless patient said this look would make her perfect. Thank you. Anything for a colleague. And if anyone asks, we never spoke. Of course. So I've already applied to Westwood and Penn, and Dad wants me to try Boston, UMass. One second. Hey, you need to leave. Oh, hey, Jess. How's it going? You have to leave. There's a restraining order. This is a public establishment, and I was here first. This is how these things work, sweetie. So it's just a coincidence my mom's arch enemy is at the same coffee shop as me? <laughs> arch enemy? I am a victim, and I told my story so that your mother doesn't hurt anyone else. You're a liar. I just hope that things are okay at home within your brother. My mom would never hurt anyone. She's actually a good person, unlike you. You know. You know, there is a bit of a fighter in you, Jess. Maybe you and I are more alike than you realize. talk to her I'm sorry listen to me you didn't do anything wrong okay there is nothing to be sorry about are you hurt you okay okay can you go upstairs and give me and your dad a few minutes to talk okay okay, okay. I'll be up there in a few minutes all right okay this is getting completely out of hand this is our child and the investigator called again he wants a statement Good. I'm ready now. This is Investigator Carlos Lopez, interview with Drs. Katie and Chris Jones. For the record, my clients are here on their own volition. Dr. Jones, thank you for agreeing to speak with me. Whatever will help stop the intimidation of my family. Intimidation? It's a good place to start. So you know that our daughter is being stalked by Liz Oakley. She basically threatened her last night. I was told that harsh words were exchanged. Apparently, your daughter threw hot coffee on Miss Oakley. Jess is just a kid. She didn't attack anyone. I'm just telling you what was said. I should add that a charge of intimidation had been leveled against you as well, Doctor. What? You met with Miss Oakley at a hotel bar on September the 18th? No, no, no. I didn't meet with her. She, she followed me there. Uh... Witnesses described you as violent and angry. <laughs> Come on, that's not even... You don't have to answer that. She alleges you confronted her about Katie's assault, then threatened physical violence if she went public about it. That is not what happened. Were you there, ma'am? So what, you just believe everything she says? I believe where there's smoke, 
there's usually fire. What are you, her lap dog? That's conjecture, Mr. Lopez. You don't have to answer that. I object. Clarity with this case yet. But right now, all the evidence is pointing against you. Then you should do your research, Mr. Lopez. You can start with Mary Wilson, a doctor in San Francisco. She was in perfectly good health until she died of a sudden stroke in the middle of a malpractice lawsuit with Liz Oakley. Liz is just a liar. She is also obsessive and dangerous. If that's true, I promise it's her I'll be investigating. Until then, Liz Oakley is the victim. Now, let's look at when you first met Miss Oakley. That would be the fall of 2001. Is that correct? That stupid son of a bitch. I bet you he's sleeping with her. I don't think that he's the enemy. I just think that Liz is always a step ahead of us. So what do we do? What can we do? We need help. We need proof. Evidence that Liz is the offender and not the victim. Yeah, but who's going to help us? Mary is dead. Bruce is missing. Everybody else is so terrified of getting sued. They won't say anything. We need Robin Pratt. Who, the ambulance chaser? Yeah, she's operated on Liz. She knows she's crazy. We need Robin to talk. Yeah, but Pratt's just out for herself. She hates us. Yeah, but behind all that gloss, there's a real doctor there. I'm going to head there now. Listen, we pick up the kids. I don't think we should keep them in school during this. Be careful. I love you. I love you. Hello? Robin. Robin, it's Katie Jones. It's very important that we talk. Sounds important. Can we meet, please? Okay, I'll be at the office late. Say, ten o'clock. I need you to send the police over right away. I think there's a crime being committed. It's Katie Jones, Robin. Are you here? Just outside of Dr. Pratt's office. Yep, yeah, please hurry. Robin. Robin. Chris, Chris, I need you to stay with the kids. Don't leave the kids, no matter what you do. Got the kids. I'll be home as soon as I can. Katie, you okay? Thank you. The homicide detectives said you asked for me specifically. 
I trust you. You see that bottle over there? The perfume? If you check inside, I think you'll find methyl iodide. It's a noxious gas. Very little odor and unlikely to cause any residue in the lungs. It can cause a massive stroke in a matter of minutes. Officer, can you bag this, please? Be careful. It might be toxic. Whose fingerprints were? Mine. Just like she planned. You could have wiped it clean. Yes, I could have. I looked into Mary Wilson's death. I've asked for an exhumation of her body and an autopsy. It would help if you called her husband to get him to agree to the request. I'll call. Yes. I'll make sure that methyl iodide gets added to the list of substances tested for. Who's looking after your kids? Chris is with them. Good. Am I being arrested? Not yet. But the detectives will have to question you formally. I'd recommend that your lawyers be there for that. I understand. I know how this looks. But I didn't do it. Hey. How are the kids? They're, they're okay. They're asleep. What's going on down there? They're not charging me. Not yet. It, it doesn't look good. I think Lopez believes me, but he said if I try to leave town, they'll arrest me. I don't know what to do. She's like ahead of us at every turn. And I just... I... Katie, sorry. We're not going to let her beat us. Okay, we've been through tough times before. Just get home. We'll figure this out together. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Hey. Hey. You're free to go home. Okay, thank you. This is Homicide's case. I'll see what I can dig up on Liz, but without anything solid, I won't be able to do much. Sooner, but you had to file that pesky restraining order. Fusion dreams. Mm, you're so meticulous. I was hoping you'd notice. Were you sure to? You didn't. You naive little child. I didn't kill anyone, so I've got nothing to hide. But Katie, you did kill someone. You killed Elizabeth Karasinski when you walked past her without so much as a glance in her direction. And when you married Chris, and she was left crying herself to sleep, and then gave birth to that beautiful daughter while well, she was made barren. What is wrong with you? Mary, me, Robin, none of us hurt you. Katie, would you listen to yourself? I'm practically a freak. You know, Robin was lucky she went as quick as she did. If you had showed up one minute earlier, she may have survived. Or she would have become one of those drooling invalids who would have only wished that the stroke had killed her. Maybe Chris is gonna end up like that. <sighs> Liz, the police will be investigating soon. How long do you think it's gonna take them to find out how Mary died? It'll be all over then. Doesn't matter. Why are you so intent on hurting me? Hurt you? Katie! I don't want to hurt you. I want to be you. And you should be flattered. I mean, your looks, your husband. Come on. You, you have the perfect life. The life that I've always wanted. I mean, you wouldn't mind if I just borrowed it for a while, would you? <laughs> You're sick. No. No, I just know how the world works. If you want good things to happen to you, they don't. One day you're dreaming about having children, and the next you're watching some doctor remove your ovaries. Now, if you want the perfect life, you have to create it. 
You have to take it, just like you took mine back in school. Well, I'm not watching anymore. Now it's my turn to take, and I'm gonna watch you suffer. Got your home. Chris. Chris, I want you to do something for me, okay? Yeah, anything. Do you remember that hotel in Port Angeles where we went with the kids last summer? Yeah, of course. Tomorrow morning, I want you to take them there again. And I don't want you to come back until this thing is over. Kitty, no. We... Hey, I'm not gonna give up, okay? You need to know that you and the kids are safe first. I am not going to abandon you. Yes. I love you, little man. I'm sorry mom has to stay back and work. And we get to skip school? That's right. You guys are gonna have so much fun. Come on, bud. Let's go. We'll see you soon, right? I'll join you as soon as I can. I'll be in touch. I hired a private investigator to do some digging. Guess who flew into SFO the same day that Mary Wilson died? Liz Oakley. And I got a lot more where that came from. There's no smoking gun quite yet, but she has made a lot of mistakes. The district attorney is going to prosecute. I voiced my opinion, but it's moving forward. I see. You'll probably be charged by the end of the week. I'll let myself out. I'm going to be arrested tomorrow. Look, we should come back home. No. You guys stay there. I don't want you to come here. It's just going to put you guys in danger, too, and I don't want that. Honey, we can't just do nothing. You know, you can't give up. There's got to be something we can do, some way for you to cover your ass here. What? I'm just saying there's got to be some kind of proof for you to defend yourself. No, no, what you just said before. Robin said the same thing. She said... I'm used to dealing with crazy patients and lawsuits, and I'm smart enough to cover my own ass. I gotta go. I'll call you soon. Good. Go get him. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Carlos Lopez. It's Katie Jones. I need you to meet me. Where? At Robin Pratt's office. OK. 
Okay, so why are we here? The room was already checked. Just give me a minute. What is that? A trigger? For a recording device. Seattle has more plastic surgeons than any other city in the Pacific Northwest. Young doctors like Robin has to take on any patients they can, even if they're too risky. She was used to excessive patients and the lawsuits that came with them. She said she protected herself. This is how. not very ethical of you, doctor, giving out private information about a patient. Darling, I wouldn't Shut ever... up. Robin, just shut up. But don't worry, I'm not going to see you. Thank you. Oh, Liz, what the hell? <laughs> Best of luck, darling. I'll expect they'll pick her up right away. Good. Where will you be? I'm going to be with my family. to be there in two hours. We can surprise the kids in the morning. I love you. I'll see you soon. husband was supposed to leave a key for me. Uh, yeah. Sorry, didn't you just... Can I just get a key, please? Uh, the room is under Chris Jones. Yeah, sure. Uh, I just need some ID. Sure. There you go. Thanks. Damn it, Katie, what the hell's gotten into 
Do you remember me now, Doctor? What the hell are you doing? What? You don't like it? I'm calling the police. Do you like what you see? Liz, please note that you killed Robin. Okay, there's a recording of the whole thing. This is over. Just let me help him. Let me help him, please. No. Liz Oakley is over. Kitty Jones, though, her life has just started, and sadly, you're not going to be a part of it. You can't do this. Who's going to stop me? By tomorrow, Chris is going to be dead, and you? Be like you never even existed. People believe what their eyes tell them. You of all people should know that, Kitty. And you know what they will see? They will see Chris's beautiful widow mourning the loss of her husband. Nobody is going to question me. Don't worry. The kids and I will be better off without a crippled father. In fact, we're going to be a perfect little family. Do you really think that this is perfect? Are you blind? Our chins, they're pathetically weak. And you have to face it, our noses. They're, they're crooked. And our overbite, you got my overbite, congratulations. And our hairline, it's thinning. We can thank the kids for that one. Stop it! And our ears, our ears are just embarrassing. How they stick out like an elephant. Shut up! And our necks are short, they're too shut up! Our, and our eyes, our cheekbones are really high, but fortunately, we get older, and our eyes start to sink into our head like a starving no, child. No, no, I'm perfect! Well done. No, really, well done, Liz. You look just like me, and, and you inherited all my flaws. But guess what? I am not perfect. No one is, and especially not you. And you never will be.
Yes, bacon. Mom, I told you I'm vegan now. Does this have anything to do with your new hippie lab partner? Victor Vikram. And he's not a hippie. He's enlightened. Uh, <laughs> oh. Well, problem solved. Now eat up. Yeah, your dad and I have to get to work. Got surgery in an hour. Mm. How does it feel, operating again? Done it without you guys. 